Growing up, I had about 45 uncles, and none of them were related to me, and they just took me under their wing. And this is how, how I grew up, and this was the soccer community, and we take care of each other. So when I retired from soccer, I didn't feel like I was doing anything different. I just kept living the way I was brought up. We believe your actions have to be representative of your beliefs. We try to stress to our kids that they all have a chance to be successful. They need to work together as a team. They need to share their vision. They need to ask others for help. Um, but most importantly, they have to understand what they believe in. And the number one thing they need to believe in is themselves. And they need to be empowered um, to be successful and to be happy. The foundation started in 2003, and Mayor Kelly and St. Paul had a Tony Sani Day after the World Cup. And at that celebration, a young lady from Concordia University came up to me and said, I want to help kids in my neighborhood play soccer. And I said, what can, you, what can I do? She said, I need balls, I need t-shirts, you know, I need equipment, I need you to talk to the parks for me. So I gave her that. And then it dawned on me that I should be redoing more and I have a responsibility. In 2010, when I retired from the LA Galaxy, that's when I decided I wanted to do this full time. When I retired, things just snowballed and like I said, it wasn't really a choice, it just became a full time job. For me, the most important thing is a child should be able to play. And we want to grant them access to play. And we want to do that in a way that it's going to teach them how to stand in line, how to follow directions, um, things that will help them in school. Um, we feel that with the right tools, the kids are going to be successful and they're going to feel empowered and the world's going to be a better place. And we're here and you can find us and we love your support and we want your help and we need you, they need you, um, and we all want to do something together. After the earthquake in 2010, I went to Haiti with the LA Galaxy. Um, I did disaster relief and it was horrible. And I didn't really realize what was going on until I was flying out and I thought to myself, this can't be it. Yeah. And so, I made it a goal to keep those relationships up, to help the kids there, and to make it a sustainable program. We do want to unite diverse communities, and that's exactly what we did there. And when you can bring people from different cultures, different economic backgrounds together to play, to learn about each other, it's, it's great to see, and um, I think everybody's better off from it. It's hard work, and it's hot, and you're exhausted, and while you're doing it, you can't believe you're doing it. And when you're done doing it, you realize you've just helped change the world. I always try to tell people, we're not about soccer, you know. We're about children and helping kids and changing people. Um, but soccer is the tool we use, and it's a great tool. This is where we can change the lives of kids. This is where we can break down the achievement cap. This is when we can get kids moving and um, make sure that obesity is a thing of the past. It's a start where kids are going to play together and learn together in the classroom and live together in the neighborhoods and be together in this world.